Hey, good morning, Red Knights. Uh, first of all, hopefully you got your BioBox project in the mail. Hopefully you got that BioBox in the mail. Do me a favor, if you got that and you did take a picture of yourself opening that up, would you send that to me? Could you email it to me? Um, hopefully you'll figure out how to do that. If we were in the same classroom, I'd ask you to airdrop it to me, but you can't really do that from a distance. So take a picture of your BioBox project with you in it and shoot me an email if you would just so just a, a snap and a quick email to me um, I'll also I know I said there'd be a calendar uh, I don't know what happened to the calendar that I made for it but I'll put a calendar on there today so to kind of give you an idea of what you should be doing with that low stress thing um, some fun little experiments to do uh, over the course of some time all right so um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, just the course again. Uh, first of all, many of you got your um, DNA structure, claim evidence and reasoning, Google slide thing turned in. That's great. All right. So let's let's talk about the order of the course. Let's go back to power school learning. And you'll notice that I have the DNA to protein checklist open as well. All right. So let's look at this document here. So I'm on power school. Here's today, Tuesday, April 7th. And I know I talked about this yesterday, but I changed my mind. So the most recent stuff, the things that I've added, the things that you should be doing now are at the bottom. Now, what if you aren't there yet? Oh, stop. I put a stop sign there so you'll know you've scrolled too far. If you haven't done that, then you need to be working through it. And notice it's numbered one two three four etc down the side all right so as you do these things that's the point of this checklist right so i go over here number three complete the google form about the blue people of kentucky i'm going to check that off and i'm going to say that i did that on whenever and so you just keep scrolling down this checklist and notice that there's a pattern to things Pretty much I ask you to do something, and then I ask you to head to the incremental model tracker and reflect on it. Or maybe you've picked up some new information, and I ask you to do a formative assessment. All right, so there's a pattern. Typically, I'll ask you to do something, reflect on it. You pick up some new information, and then probably right after that, they'll see, like, what did you learn? I'll have, like, a formative assessment there. Okay? So let's just take a look. We'll just keep scrolling down. Like I said, many of you, and I appreciate that, you've got that DNA structure, claim evidence, and reasoning uh, Google slide thing taken care of. If you're done with that, then you should be heading to the incremental model tracker, tracker the IMT thing, and making some reflections in there. All right, after that, you're going to go to the DNA to protein checklist. So just keep this baby open and check that off. Okay. Then you're going to open up the DNA structure screencast. You're going to watch it, take some notes, ask some questions. That's a Google form. So I'm going to get the questions and I'll respond. So some of you I have responded to already, right? You know that you've got an email from me. Then you're going to go over here and you're going to check it off and say, I did that on you know, Tuesday, March 37th, whatever that is. And so this, this document over here, the DNA to protein checklist, is really designed to help you keep track of what you should be doing. All right? And as you work down the way here, there are times you're going to have to directly contact me. So you do this first formative assessment that's on DNA structure. If you didn't do so hot on it, and the directions are on the formative assessment slide. I'm going to add to that. So basically, if you got eight or better right, you're good. If you got three or four wrong, then you need to go and think about you, the ones you got wrong, right? And reflect on that. And that's this, this formative correction slide. So it's a Google slide. You write down the questions you got wrong and explain the correct answers to me. Then you're going to Dropbox that. If you want to take the second formative assessment you're gonna to have to email me and I'll send you the password all right then you just keep then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna check that off and I did that on Tuesday right then you're gonna to go to the next thing down here there's a gizmos about DNA 
After you do that, you're going to check it off. Then you're going to go to the incremental model tracker, tracker and record, here's the improvements that I've made in my understanding of DNA. All right, so that's how you use those two, those two documents. All right, uh, we'll meet for a short time today. Um, bio box, pictures, get those in the mail to me really quick. Just snap a picture of them and uh, send me an email as an attachment. All right, thanks, I'd appreciate that. Have a great day, Red Knights. Mm -hmm.